Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is November 29, 2023. Time right now, 11.28 a.m. Eastern Time. So, what's happened to the market today is the market opened here, which was a gap up. This was previous day high, yesterday's high. So, it opened on a gap up. Uh, the gap guidelines were in play. Go with all gaps that don't fill quickly. And then you saw this push higher. And of course, your trades in the A period will obviously be long. Go with the gap because this is the gap. It did not fill. And so you go higher, right? Let me split this up. Okay. So that was your trade. Now, in market profile theory, in general, in, in the stock market, if you trade different patterns, I don't know how this applies, but what does not happen is more important than what does happen. Okay. So what did not happen is this a high did not breach the 4600 level it did not happen so that shows something that shows the buyers are not strong enough to breach that crucial very crucial century level and then we saw this poor high in the B period a lot of times I've said this in my market profile 101 also is that a poor high could be an indication of inventory being too long and the short-term traders who push this market high they're like you know selling off exactly before that 4600 level understand the mindset so that's what happened now that's one thing the gap the poor high what was the more important thing is it came back into this balance zone which I've which I've discussed before in my previous videos which is important so it broke out of balance and there was a breakout balance failure okay and so when it comes back into balance which is a breakout failure that means the odds are high that it goes to the opposite end of the balance now obviously that's not a hundred percent like we don't know if this is going to breach this level the 4550 but if it does that's just the odds it could but if it does, you could see a good flush to the lower side. This is the same one, right? So if that 4550, we could continue lower and possibly even come back into this zone. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen today. It could happen. It might not happen at all, okay? But what I'm trying to say is what is market-generated information? When this B period came back into the balance, came back into the overnight session here, that is weakness. So it comes back in, and then it, you also have this market-generated information that's broken back into the balance, and it's come back into the overnight session, and so it pushed down lower. So let's uh, I also notice something else in the overnight session. You see, this POC is very prominent. Look how it sticks out, right, compared to the whole session. It just sticks out. So that's a prominent POC from the overnight session. Also, another thing to note is this is the last, this is the settle. The overnight inventory was long and we had a gap. And these longs for overnight, they, they didn't find anything in the regular trading hours and so they had to close their position and that's why you see this flush down, it cleared the prominent POC and now here we are. So it's, it's really important to watch these small cues. Now I'm gonna point out something which is not really discussed by many but I've noticed it's, it is of importance. You see, this is the yesterday's value area. You see that high? It's at 45.66, the value area high. Previous session's value area high was 45.67.75, right? So if you look at this value area, this value area, look where the overnight session was, you know, where did the buyers step in? Right at that value area high, right? So this is also weak if you really, really look closely. Very visual levels, buyers are buying from that value area high. And so it pushed up higher. Of course, that got breached as well. But look at the number of periods that was just bouncing off close to that level. Look at it, just look at it. So that is an observation which you need to train yourselves to get into. Now what's happening now is, also this is a September high, so even break out from the monthly coming back into the September height, it could be that this market could really flush down lower. Okay, I don't know. Nobody knows. 
but the tempo is good on the downside, especially in the D period, there's a good tempo. Now, that could be from the overnight session, longs closing position. Do we continue it lower? Look where it bounced off from, the September high. This is live markets. Look where it bounced off from. Odds are high that it does not last. It's a very visual level. I'm not saying that the highs, the AB highs are strong either, meaning they're weak because I don't think it will last long because look at where it bounced off, just short of that 4,600 level, right? So there is weakness everywhere right now. I am more biased to the downside. I've said that many times, but I said I'll wait for balance zone breakouts. This was a balance zone or rather going long with the gap, gap guidelines come first is to go long but what happened in B that's a balance zone guideline it is to go short it's, I mean if it break, it's a breakout failure so the odds are high it goes back down now E low is exactly at the September high exactly close to the, to the settle from previous session odds are high it's not going to last now we are seeing some volume well there's still good volume here there's no volume taper as of now Another observation is you could possibly see a, see this as a single print here. Okay, if you see that B A B C A level here at that 4583 level, so this is one distribution. This is your second distribution, and this is your third distribution. What's also to remember is you treat each distribution as a separate session. So now, all you look at is let me. Uh, draw something here all you look at is is this is a separate session so what are we doing now we are come back into the previous days value of course in the range and also value we are right at the September high and the settle the value is higher but on this day today it's more of a trend the trend so far is down Look at it. It's all one time framing lower. It didn't one time frame higher in the B session. It's just one time framing lower. So, like I've said, this is what makes trading hard. If I just said go with the value, your best trades are long. Yes, absolutely. Even now I say that. But that's just one factor. You have to look at the low. You have to look at the overall trend. You have to look at how the overnight session really traded this got taken out right so this is what makes trading hard like what do you go with do you go with value do we go with the trend I say in such a day you obviously stick with the trend now again with the gap breakout failure come back into the balance zone gap got filled right gap got filled and you see one time framing lower okay so I really don't know if this low is gonna last but for me, I'm done. Day, I'm done with trading for the day. It's just because I see that this market could just balance out here. I don't know. Maybe it goes and breaches and fixes this high 4600 and goes higher. I don't know that. Um, but I will let the market generate information tell me. Now, what am I looking for next? I'm looking to see if this single prints get filled in D period. If they do get filled. And if we do go back above the previous session high, I might start looking for longs. Okay, I might absolutely start looking for longs. I don't know if I'll do that because I look at tempo, I look at the volume come in, and then I might make that decision to go long. So even with this guideline of balance where it's a breakout failure, right? This is a breakout failure. Odds are high, it goes to the opposite end. Again, that's just odds. It's not 100%. So there's a lot of things you have to keep in mind. And this is what makes trading hard. Again, I say this, is having that feel and that gut feel of understanding, hey, there was a gap. This broke out, did not take that 4,600 out. We see this poor high, could be inventory too long, and comes back into uh, balance. We could see continuation lower, right? So that's how you trade point one to point A, point A to point B, basically. Okay, that's how you can make money in trading futures, just focusing on the immediate MGI market-generated information. 
I'm not looking at indicators. I'm not looking at VWAP. This is all I'm looking at. This is how I trade. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I this was really an important session, important video overall. It's very educational. I think you guys should watch this video uh, uh, at least a couple of times till you really grasp. There's so much going on. It's it might look simple, but, but that's after the fact, right? After I explained that, look at the value areas and where the overnight bounced off from. Even that last and settle bounced off from the the overnight bounce off from the last and settle. So things like that, the gap open, the breakout failure that did not take out the 4600 level, came back into balance, started one time framing lower in B session, right? C, D, uh, B and C lows were poor because exactly same levels. Came back into the previous session and over here also came back into the overnight session weakness. You see, there's so much going on. I know I'm confusing you guys, uh, but it is what it is. You have the distributions here, distributions on top, third distribution at the bottom. Some might say this is not a distribution. Yeah, you could say that this is one distribution. Though even even if you take it as one distribution, this is your second distribution that you need to focus on. Single prints, okay? E low exactly at September high. Right, so much, so much information in just this one chart here. All right, guys, I really hope this was helpful. Please do yourself a favor, watch this video again. Uh, it will only benefit you, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. Take care, have fun.